time, we would like to have everyone rise, remove your hats, and join us as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Tonight, our national anthem will be performed by the Caston High School Band under the direction of Mr. John Allender. Well, let's get some starting lineups. We'll start with the visiting Vikings. They'll be starting number 11, Chris Annis. Number 20, Braylon Sipkema. Number 32, Dane Hood. Number 40, Fernando Gomez. And number 52, Chandler Hood. Pete, I was watching during warm-ups, and I think we kind of talked about this. Number 52, Hood there, he's a big dude. He's uh, he's not nearly as big as the post player for North White uh, last year, but he still uh, he looks like he could be out there wrestling heavyweight. Well, hopefully he doesn't body our guys too much. Let's talk about these cast and starters. We'll be starting number four, Talon Zyder. Number five, Corbin Smith. Number 10, Gavin Mollenkoff. Number 11, Caleb Stinson. And number 15, Lane Hook. Comments are coached by Carl Davis, who will be joining us after the game for a post-game interview and game time wrap-up. I'm happy to see Caleb starting. I uh, heard that he hurt a knee in uh, the last away game. So it's good to see him able to take the court. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Comets uh, need, need Stinson out there. He's a good ball handler for him. Eight minutes on the clock. We're underway. Opening tip goes to North White. It's gonna be brought up by Annis. He's gonna start leading the offense. North White getting set up, working against a two-three zone of the Comets. Number 40, Gomez has it. He's gonna dump it near side to Hood. Back up top to Annis. Annis directing the offense, gives it to Hood. Now, Annis, open three off the mark. Can be knocked around. to be out off of number 52, Chandler Hood. And Comets are going to get the per for their first possession of the game. Molenkoff will bring the ball up. North White meeting him at half court. Stenson with it now, pass tipped. Mm. 
Molikoff has it near wing, or far wing. Hook at the free throw line. Molikoff gets it outside. He's going to dump it to Yaden. Yaden kicks it back out. I just realized Yaden's out there, and... Smith is not. That's yeah. two points there for Lane Hook. First basket of the game. Great look by Grant Yaden. Seen him open. Now Kava's putting on their own pressure. Gomez breaks it. Annis has it. Top of the key. Far side hood. Back to Annis near side. Zipkema hood. Into the Gomez in the corner. Vikings working their long offense here. Looking for those open looks. Annis has it. He's going to drive. Pulled out. Kicks of Kimba. Far side. Kimba picks up his dribble. Tosses it down low. Way too high. Gomez can't grab it. Kimba's back with the ball. Stinson going to bring it up. Six to go. Two nothing. Score. Zyder has it. Far side. Yaden gets it. He's going to give it to Molikoff. Stinson. Zyder. Corner three. Off the mark. Hook pulls down the rebound, though. He's going to power through there and put that one in for two. Zyder gets a hand on the inbound. Gomez has it now. Hood, far side. He's going to pass it. Zyder pulls it. Now Hook has it, far wing. Stenson, three, on the way. Boom, baby, from downtown Fulton. Beautiful three-point look there for Caleb Stinson. Three possessions, three turnovers. It can't be long before the North White coach calls a timeout to talk about this. We got Sipkema trapped in the corner here. And Molkoff, a lot of contact there. Not called. We got Annis back up top, far wing. He's going to dribble it to the top of the key. Dishes the hood. Now Sipkema down low. He'll dribble it out. North White. Really working the offense, just can't find any open looks. That's to be knocked out of bounds off of Lane Hook. As he gets a hand in there. Great pressure defense, Erica. <clears throat> yeah, Kama's playing phenomenal defense right now. Starting this out like the game we broadcasted last week, where uh, yeah, they've got seven unanswered points so far. Be kind of nice to see him get in double digits. Sip Kim a corner three off the backboard. Gomez gets the rebound. He's going to pull up with it off the mark. Loose ball again. Gomez gets his rebound. Sip Kim now. And it's top of the circle. Hood's going to drive. He's going to put up a little floater off the mark. Hook pulls down the rebound. He's going to bring it up himself. Now Zyder far wing. Stinson drives. Kicks out Zyder. He's going to drive. He's going to spin. Kick back out to Stinson. Four minutes to go. 7 nothing. Comets lead. North White playing really good half-court defense. Hook missed an open. Zyder. Molenkoff. Pass fake. Zyder. Stinson. Far side. He's going to drive, open lane. He puts that one in for two. Great isolation play there for Caleb Stinson. North White breaks the press, gives it to Gomez. Now to Hood, into Sipkema. Now Annis. He's going to dribble it out, reset the offense. Set up the offense to begin with, I guess. Now, kick Annis, three. That one's good. First points on the board there by Annis. Hood, Dane Hood gets a hand on that pass as Stinson tries to bring it down quick. We're going to get number 15, Denton, and uh, number 12, Craig, in for the game. Three nineteen left in the quarter. Comets up 9-3. Yaden receives the inbound. He's going to pass it up to Stinson. Stinson, Zyder, corner three. That one's in. Boom, baby, from downtown Kiwana. Two-man trap there at the volleyball line. 
Long pass if Kimmer can't pull it down. North White just struggling with the turnovers. We're going to get a full timeout here. North White's coach definitely does not sound happy. Well, we're going to step away, say thank you to our sponsors. You're watching Cast of Comets Basketball on RTC TV4. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hook inbounds to Stinson. No pressure at the half court line. Craig gets it. Lob pass into Stinson. Stinson rolls in and out. Chandler Hood pulls down the rebound. Now Sip Kevin near side. Gives it to Dane Hood. Hood thinks about a three. He's going to drive kick Annis. He's going to pull it out, set up the offense. Denton, far side. Looks for Hood. He's going to give it to Hood. Now Annis. Denton, Hood. Hood dumps it into Annis. Pulls it out, Sip Kevin, far side. Annis thought about a three. Now Sip Kevin, now Hood down low. Yaden pulls it down. He's going to pass it into the hands of Dane Hood, though. Now Hood. No foul called. Shot doesn't fall. Stinson comes down with the rebound. He's going to put that shot up. Interesting look there, but he gets it to fall. Both teams trying to get charges called there. Couldn't get it. Now North White will break the press. Annis at the elbow. He's the hood hand. Annis, three. Off the mark. Hood gets the rebound, though. He'll put that up for two. Yaden with the rebound. Comets bringing it down quick. They got the numbers. Stinson, stutter step, puts it up. That one's in for two. Stinson taking over the ball game right now. Minute 30 to go, 16 to three. Long cross court pass to Annis. Now Hood's got it. Volleyball line. Annis near side. Dumps it into Denton. Now to Hood. Chandler Hood puts that in for two. Craig has it. 16-5, minute to go. Craig, surprised he didn't get called for a charge there. Shot yeah. off the mark. He kind of shoved off. They're Hood. letting a lot of contact go here tonight. Hood brings it up. Denton, three on the way. That one's off the mark. Hook pulls down the rebound. Stenson has it. He's going to cross over in between his legs. Dishes to Craig. Craig gives it to Hook. 30 seconds to go. Down into the post. Yaden, hook shot, puts that one in for two. Comets with the full court pressure. Sipkema gives it to Hood. Back to Sipkema. He's going to get trapped here in the corner. Hood is going to get it out quick. 15 North. seconds left in the quarter. Vikings going to look for the last shot of the quarter. Hood has it. Now Annis. Annis, Denton. Annis, three. That was good with the hand in his face. Hook doesn't get the inbounds in. All right, well, at the end of one, that's Caston 18, North White 8. We'll be back for second quarter action here on RTC TV. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Headed into the second quarter here. Comets start with possession and a 10-point advantage on the scoreboard. Stenson gets the rebound. Inbound? Inbound. <laughs> Wow. Uh, bound is in both of them. That's Pass true. Down in the post. Yaden now Zyder. Three on the way. Boom, baby. From downtown Mount Pleasant. Hood gets it across quick. Denton kicks out to Gomez. He'll give it to Annis to set up the offense. That was a decent post look surrendered there, Pete. North White staying outside the three-point line right now. Yaden gets a hand on that pass. He'll knock it out of bounds. Hood looking to get the inbound. He's going to get it in the backcourt. With 7.20 to go in the first half. Denton finds an open spot. He's going to give it to Sipkema. 
Now Annis. He's going to look to drive. He kicks to Denton. Hood. Top of the key. He dishes down to Gomez. Gomez spins. Shot up. And that one falls. Stenson gets the quick pass from Klinger. He spins. He kicks it out. Klinger. Three. Ooh, off the mark. Hood gets the rebound. He'll bring it up for the Vikings. Annis. Three on the way. Off the mark. Molikoff pulls down the rebound. He'll give it up to Klinger. Klinger trips, loses it. Hood's going to bring it down quick. He's going to get fouled on the floor. Foul there on number 10, Gavin Molikoff. His first, team first, and that dubious honor, oddly enough, in the second quarter of game first. Corbin Smith and uh, Reed Summers checking in for the Comets. Gomez gets the inbounds. He'll kick the hood. Hood drives. Jumper off the mark. Zyder pulls down the rebound. Klinger. A lot of contact. Nothing called. Hood gets another layup attempt. He's off the mark. Gomez is going to knock that one out of bounds. Evans enters. Summers brings the ball up. Smith, corner. He'll give it to Summers. Zyder, corner three. Boom, baby, from downtown media. Comments on fire from outside so far tonight. Annis, heavy defense from Summers. Loose ball. Gavin Molenkoff pulls it up. He's going to put a shot up. He's going to get blocked. He's going to be out of bounds as Hood grabs it. Out of bounds. I'm really surprised there's not been more fouls called tonight, Pete. They're letting a lot of contact go, and I'm here for it. Yeah, I say let them play, you know. Makes them tougher. Inbounds into Evans. He's going to pull it out, give it to Molikoff. Summers, Zyder. Zyder thought about a three there. Molikoff has it. Molikoff moving to the high post. Working against that 2-3 zone. Smith gives it to Summers. Evans. Summers. Smith passes it down low to... Molenkoff, Summers, three. Off the mark. Gomez pulls down the rebound. Hood. Now Annis gives it to Denton. Pass tipped. Annis pulls it out, gives it to Hood. Comets man defense. Hood working against Summers. Gives it to Annis. Chandler Hood down low. Cross court pass. Dane Hood thinks about a three. He'll drive. He'll put that one up off the mark. Molikoff pulls down the rebound. He's going to walk with it. Certainly not ideal. Caleb Stinson comes in, gives Talons out a break. 24-10 with 4.30 to go in the first half. Dane Hood looking to inbound. He's going to lob it to Annis. Thomas dropping into a 2-3 zone. Vikings switching up their offense here. Denton, Hood, Annis. Denton, Annis thinks about a three, kicks it to Gomez. Gomez, he'll put one up off the mark. That's going to be tipped out of, but no, it's going to go out of bounds off of Summers. We're going to get a 30-second timeout here by Coach Davis. They're going to talk it over. We're going to thank our sponsors. You're watching Cast and Comments Basketball on RTC TV4. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've got half of the second quarter to go here at Cast and High School. Your Comets are up by 14 points, 24-10 to 10 over the visiting North White Vikings. Hey, 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 
Annis inbounds to Denton. He'll give it back to Annis to start the offense. As a host of comments come to the scorer's table to sub in. Lob pass, hood to hood, doesn't connect. Now we get almost the whole lineup change. Let's see, that's Zyder, Yaden, Craig, Hook. And Stinson Sipkema. stays. Sipkema enters the ball game for the Vikings. Craig going to bring it up with 3.50 to go in the first half. Hook dishes to Stinson. Stinson spin move. Puts that one up for two. Comet still working there. Half full court press. Sip Kimmel gets it across. Doesn't meet a trap. He's going to look backdoor cut, but Denton will come back out, get it. Now Annis. Annis drives baseline. He's going to dump to Denton. Denton, Denton jumper off the mark. Stinson pulls down the rebound. Now he'll bring it up quick. Crosses over, he's gonna pull it out, thinks about a three, drives, right-handed, underhand layup, puts it in for two. Craig knocks that one out of bounds. Dane Hood enters back into the game. Annis brings the ball up. Now Sip Kim and Gomez, quarter three. That one falls. Hook is going to bring it up. He kicks the stents and almost gets stolen there. Zyder, open three. Ooh, off the mark. Hook pulls down the rebound. He's going to put it up off the mark. Hood pulls it out. He gives it to Hood. Hood's going to bring it down quickly. He'll pull it out. Annis, far side. Hood, deep three. That one's off the mark. It's to be pulled down by Lane Hook. Two minutes to go in the half. Stinson comes up on the near wing. Stinson has it. He's going to drive, kick the hook. Hook thought about a three there, pulls it out. Stenson going to work some offense here. Zyder, he's going to get stolen by Hood. Hood, layup, rolls around and falls in. 28-15 with a minute 30 to go. Pass tipped. Stenson grabs it though. He's going to kick. Hook, corner three, off the mark. To be rebounded by Stenson though. It's an open lane to the basket. Little arm fake there. Gets Hood to slide by. Now Sip Kimma coming down quick. He's going to get swatted Big by Hook. Big swat there. Craig, great, great hustle there. Can't get it down though. Sip Kimma, he's going to get trapped. Hook ties up. No, they're, they're going to call, call a foul. foul? Hook picking up his first. Team second. Amazingly, one minute left in the half, and those are the only two fouls in the whole ball game so far. You know, I don't disagree that there was a foul there. I didn't think it was where they called the foul, though. Uh, At that point, I think it should have been a jump ball, but there's been a lot of contact let slide, so. They, they, they have a lot, a lot of contact sl 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 slide by. And uh, Annis, three on the way, off the mark. Loose ball, Hook pulls it down. We're going to get a... They're not going to give Coach Davis the timeout. It'll be North White basketball. Thirty-six seconds. Hood inbounds to Annis. 
Annis back to Hood. Sipkema, shot fake, gives it to Hood. Chandler Hood can't get that one to fall. Yaden's going to pull down the rebound. It's going to be a foul called here. Foul on Sip Kimma, his first, team first. Twenty-three seconds, no pressure. Pete, I think I would take ten seconds to get across that timeline. Well, well, not ten, but you know what I'm saying. They, however, did not use that strategy. They're gonna still gonna look for that last shot of the half, though. Ten to go. Stenson working against Hood. At He's going to dribble, drive. He's going to draw a foul there. Wow, legs cut out from under him. And it goes on Fernando Gomez, his first, team second. He managed to get that committed before Stinson went vertical. Ooh, Lane Hook getting a talking to from the ref there. In fairness, I feel like Fernando should pass, have been called for a... into the post. It's going to be knocked around and thrown out of bounds with .9 seconds to go. Comments were looking for a, a shooting foul on that or an intentional. Sip came a long pass in. Yaden knocks it out of bounds, but that's going to end the half. All right, at the end of two, it's Comets 30, Vikings 15. For Lillian Wilbur. Lillian is third in her weight class in the regional competition at Western High School. And advanced to the girls' wrestling semi-state competition held at Rochester High School back on January 5th. Congratulate, congratulations, Liv, on a great sophomore season on the map. Freshman Jackson Robbins. Jackson was the HNAC champion of the 106 pound weight class and was named to the all conference first team. He also finished third at the Plymouth sectional last weekend and will be competing this Saturday at the Penn Regional. Congratulations, Jackson, and good luck. Freshman Ashton Boyer. Ashton was also the HNAC champion of the 132 pound weight class and named to the all-conference first team. Ashton plays fifth at the Plymouth sectional and is an alternate for this Saturday's regional. Congratulations, Ashton, on an excellent freshman season. Last but not least, senior Pete Duvall. Pete finished second at the HNAC competition in the 190-pound weight class and was a coach's selection to the all-conference team. Also finished third at the Plymouth sectional and will be competing this Saturday at the Penn Regional. Congratulations, Pete, and good luck. Let's hear it one more time for these four Comet wrestlers. The Vikings get the ball to start. Annis crosses the timeline with it. He'll give it to Hood. Hood drives. He's going to pull it back out. Gives it to Annis. Annis squares up. Sip Kimma near side. Hood. North White working against the Comets defense. Annis open shot. He's going to get Hook to slide by and then air ball it. But Gomez gets the rebound. He'll be fouled. Foul on Lane Hook, picking up his second. Team first here in the half and the quarter. Like first cool. charity ball of the evening drops. Totally like the fourth foul of the whole game. Off the front of the rim. Doesn't get that one to fall. 30 to 16 with 7.30 to go in the third. Hook has it, far side. Stenson had an open look, he'll drive baseline. He'll put that one in for two. 
Comets putting on some pressure. Amos gives it to Hood. Sip Kimma. That Comets pressure was a big part of their first half strategy that led to this two to one scoring advantage. Sip Kimma drives. He's gonna drive baseline, dump it down to Hood. Hood puts that one in for two. Stinson. Zyder, jumper, doesn't fall. Yaden knocks the rebound out. Chandler Hood grabs it. He's gonna give it out to Gomez. Hood sends it down quickly. Now Sipkema has it. Now Hood, volleyball line. Gomez. Gomez drives, kicks, Sipkema, three. Does not fall. Hood, hook, pulls down the rebound. He's gonna be taking it himself. He gives it to Stinson. Dane Hood, a thorn in the Comets backside, but Hook has it now. He's gonna put in that floater for two. Dane Hood, great steals. Yeah, great he's hands. responsible for a fair number of those six turnovers the Comets earned in there. Hood pulls up for three. Second. Off the mark. Stenson bringing it down quick. He's going to drive. Kicks. Hook. Hook. Tries to lay that one in, but he'll get fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Foul here on number 20, Braylon Sipkema, his second, team first. First free throw, back iron doesn't fall. Ephraim Denton back in for the Vikings. Hook's second free throw. Off the back of the iron again. Gavin Molkoff with the rebound. Falling away. He puts it up. Hook gets the rebound. Puts that one in for two. Denton gets trapped in the corner. Lob past the... Or Denton. Sorry. So Kimba got trapped in the corner. Gomez. He puts that one off the mark. Stensley pulled down the rebound. He's going to dump it to Yaden. Yaden gives it to Stinson again. Stinson, jump stop. Zyder, three. Oh, off the mark, but he gets fouled. He'll go to the line for three. Foul here again on number 20. Sipkema picks up his third. Team second. Well, looks like maybe part of the officials conversation during halftime was foul calls. First one is good for Zyder. Second free throw rolls around, doesn't fall. Annis back in for the Vikings as well as Craig for the Comets. Zyder, third free throw falls. Two oh. for three, certainly passing. Brings the Comets back to a 20 point advantage. Soft pressure by the Comets. Puts them into their 2 3 zone. Now Annis picks it up, gives it to Hood. Denton. At the center circle. Stinson gets a hand on that pass. He's going to bring it all the way down. Shot fake. He goes up with it anyways. Off the mark. Zyder, rebound. Puts it in. Half of the third remains. 40-18. Collett's lead. Hood, near wing. He finds Anna's far side. He'll dump it to Gomez. Gomez kicks to Denton. Free throw line. That one falls. 
40-20. Four minutes to go in the third. Craig brings it up for the Comets. Stinson, Craig. Craig gives it the hook. Hook dumps it down to Yaden. Yaden goes in against Hood. Zyder gets the rebound and puts it in for two. Comets drop out of the press. Looks like they're going to go man-to-man -man defense here. Denton working against Craig. He's going to hand it off to Hood. Dane Hood. Now Gomez. Gomez gives it to Annis. Annis has an open lane. He stops and kicks it out to Denton. Denton drives, kicks to Annis. Loose ball, Craig pulls it out. Now Craig, all the way, he misses, but Zyder with the rebound. Now Stinson pulls it down and Stinson puts in the reverse. Couple of missed layups, but great rebounding by the Comets to end up getting the two anyways. Fantastic offensive rebounding there. Now and we get a timeout by North White. 30 second timeout. We'll be back after a few words from our sponsors. You're watching Cast Comets Basketball on RTC TV4. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Two and a half minutes remain here in the third quarter. Your Comets up with a 24-point advantage on the scoreboard over the North White Vikings. Vikings with possession after that timeout. Annis gets the rebound, or inbound. I said it again. Hood with it. Hood drives. He'll get fouled. Basket counts. I am amazed that that wasn't called a walk. Foul there on Stinson, his first, team two. Hood with a chance for a three-point play. It falls. Getting three the hard way. Summers with 2.20 to go in the third. He hands off to Stinson. Now Summers has it. He'll dump to Craig. Craig gets called for a charge. Throws an elbow there. Alex Craig picking up his first. You know, we talked about that on a uh, possession that Craig had earlier. And he was at risk of a charge call there. Reed Summers putting on man pressure. Annis drives kicks. Gomez jumper. That one banks in. 25-44. Comets with the lead. Clinger. Kicks to Craig at the volleyball line. Craig. Clinger. Summers. Stinson. Stinson. Open lane to the basket. He's going to go up with it. Get blocked. Yaden pulls down the rebound and puts it in for two. Annis to Hood, Hood to Hood. Now Hood drives, kicks back to Brent, Brandon Hood. Now Dane Hood can't get that one to Hood. And that's going to be a walk on Summers. Took one too many steps. Josh Evans and Talon Zider back in for the comments. Forty six twenty five minute seventeen to go in the third. Pass into Dane Hood. Hood goes up with it. He'll put it in for two. Goes up, switches right to left, and puts it in. Respect on that. Summers working against the Kimma. Klinger far side. Back to Summers. Klinger. Under a minute in this third quarter. Evans has it. Summers. Summers drives, kicks down low. Chandler Hood pulls it out. 
Vikings bringing it up with 30 seconds to go. Hood passes to Annis. Gomez. Annis. Annis might be looking for the last shot of the quarter here. I feel like the better play would have been to uh, try to score quickly and then force a turnover. Hood to Sipkema. Back to Hood. Annis. Eight to go. Hood. He's going to drive. He's going to charge. Yaden takes the charge. That's Dane Hood's first, team's third. That will double the amount of fouls we had in the first half. And again, I don't know that there's been a lot more contact. I think that the officials just changed up what they're looking at and what they're looking for. And Coach Davis is going to take a full timeout. All right, well, we'll say thank you to those who allow us to bring you this broadcast. You're watching Cast Comments Basketball on RTC TV 4. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 4.5 remain here in this third quarter. Comments up by 19 points. Coach Davis definitely wants a set play here. Stenson gets the inbound. Four. He's going to give it to Zyder. Zyder, shot fake. He goes up with it. Can't get it to fall. Well short of the rim. All right. Well, at the end of three, it's cast and 46. Vikings 27. We'll be back for fourth quarter action here on RTC TV4. And 19 points up on the scoreboard. Stenson gets the inbound. Hey, good. Zyder. Molotov. Back cut. Hook. Far side. Stenson has it. Zyder, Zyder, shot on the way, off the mark. Gomez loses the rebound, but Hood is going to grab it. Hood's going to drive. He misses the shot. Smith pulls down the rebound. He gives it to Hook. Wayne almost forgot to start dribbling there. Hook gives it to Zyder. Zyder's going to work the offense. Gomez playing tight defense. Molokov dumps it to Smith. Smith. That's going to be a foul on Gomez as he holds Zyder trying to cut there. Gomez picking up his second, team first. Thing is, I think if Smith would have passed it there, I think Zyder would have had an open lane to the basket. Molokov inbounds the hook. Stenson. Stenson loses it. Kicks it to Coach Woodhouse on the bench. It's be way over Zyder's head, who is the in intended target of that pass. North White gets the ball back with seven minutes to go in the game. 46-27. Sipkema passes down low. Hood's going to muscle his way to the rim. He's going to tip his own rebound in. Stenson pulls it out. He's going to drive baseline. Jump stop. Let's that one roll in. Stenson's been a one-man wrecking crew out here on the floor tonight, Pete. Yeah, he's played really well tonight so far. Sipkema gives it to Dane Hood. Top of the key. Now Gomez has it. Gomez will hand off to Annis. Annis three on the way. And off the back of the rim. Annis gets it back. Zyder gets a hand on that one. It's going to go out of bounds off of Zyder. Do you have to say, North White is really taking control of the turnover situation that they saw themselves in in the first half. I'm sure that that was uh, one of the coach's highlights in the locker room. I would imagine. Annis gives it to Sipkema. Lob pass into the post. Gets tipped away. Now Stenson's going to bring it down quick. He's going to drive. 
He's going to put that one up off the mark. Yaden with the rebound. He's going to go up and get fouled. Foul there on Chris Annis, picking up his first, team second. Yaden's first free throw goes in. Yaden looking for a second here. And that one falls. Hood's going to bring it up. 50 to 29. Comets with the lead with 5.30 to go in the game. Annis has it. He'll look to kick it, pick up his dribble now. Sip Kimma has it. He's going to pass to Dane Hood. Hood pulls up for three. That one's in. Cannot leave him wide open like that. Hook in the corner. He's going to dish down low to Yaden. Yaden looks for Craig on the back cut. Now he, Craig gives it to Zyder. Zyder. Puts that one in for two. Great look by Zyder. Probably could have shot the three, but he drove in. Such verticality on that, Pete. Nearly touching the rim as he laid it off the glass. I don't know about touching the rim. It was awful close. Annis drives baseline. He's going to try and save it, but it will be pulled down. Hook. Hook gets swatted by Hood. Big swat. Hood had nothing on his mind but sending that ball out of bounds. Denton comes in the game. Four and a half to go in the game. Craig, long inbound into Stinson. Pass into Yaden. Craig, three. Boom! Baby from downtown, 12 miles. 55-32, Comets with the lead. Hood, Gomez. Gomez drives. He'll kick it to Chandler Hood down low. He'll kick out Denton, three, open. Good. We're gonna get a timeout here. 30 second timeout. All right, well, we'll be back in 30 seconds I'm here on RTC TV 4. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just under half of the fourth quarter remain. Comets 20 point advantage over the Vikings here tonight. Stenson, he's going to bring it down quick. Sakilla loses his balance there. Stinson dribbles off of Hood's foot. Hook has it. He's going to pick up his dribble, give it to Stinson. Craig. Yaden. Yaden, top of the key. Dishes to Craig. Craig dishes down low. It's going to be a foul on Denton. Denton there picking up his first. Team's third. Inbounds in the eight. Stenson, Zyder. Zyder thinks about the three. He's going to get it tipped out of his hand. He's going to give it to Stenson down to Yaden in the post. Yaden gets double teamed. He goes up with it off the mark. And Hook is going to get fouled as he pulls down that rebound. Foul here on number 20, Braylon Sipkema, his fourth. Team fourth. Next foul will put the Comets in the bonus. First time either team has had four fouls all game and that's gonna be a great inbounds play to get Stinson that open look. Hood working against Comets man-to-man -man defense. Hook, or Sip Kimma puts it 
up over Hook's hand, but it'll miss, and Stinson will get the rebound. Yaden has it, top of the key. He's going to give it down low, but it goes through Hook's hands. Hood's going to have it now. Dane Hood bringing it down. Working against Craig. Now Chandler Hood. Dane Hood. Cross court. Sipkima three. Off the rim. Gomez. A lot of contact there. Surprised it wasn't called. Hook almost shoved him off. Stinson drives, kicks. Craig three. Boom, baby. From down. Town. We haven't been to Ross history yet. Yeah, there we go. Three. Gomez. Well short of the rim. We're going to get a timeout here by Coach Davis. He's going to bring some subs in as we enter under two minutes of the game. Uh, looks like Klinger, Mollenkopf, Summers, Evans, and Smith enter the game for the Comets. It's like Coach uh, Vikings, Coach of the Vikings, wants to take the timeout. All right. Well, we're gonna step away then. You're watching Cast Comets basketball on RTC TV Four. Well, nope. We're gonna keep it here because now they're back on the floor. That was the most confusing timeout in my broadcast career, Pete. You'll get that on the big jobs. 60-35 inbounds into Summers. Molenkoff has it, cross court. Comets, long pass Summers. He's going to dribble, pull it out, give it to Evans. Now clear. He'll dump it down to Smith. Smith goes up with it. Off the mark. Almost got his own rebound, but it's going to be out of bounds off of Gomez. Gomez, great job tonight. He's been really hustling after ball. He's pulled down multiple rebounds because of that. Summers, long pass into Evans. Minute 30 to go, 60-35. That's going to be a foul on Sipkema. Sipkim is going to sit down after that one, and that's the fifth team foul. They're having discussions here. It's going to be. I, I don't think that the officiating team heard that that was Sipkim's fifth. We got number 30, JT McQuinn. Maybe we don't have a 30 on the varsity roster. I would guess it's probably JV number 30 than Summers. Free throw wide right. Probably worst miss, worst miss free throw I've seen all season. Second free throw goes off the back of the rim. Hood's going to pull down the rebound after it's tipped by Gomez. Hood drives. He's going to kick it to Gomez. Gomez finds an open lane. He'll put that one in. Yeah, it does fall. We're going to get a timeout here to bring in some subs. Xander Brown, number three, checking in for the Vikings. Man pressure by North White here. Klinger inbounds the Summers. Evans. Klinger. Klinger gets it across the timeline with a minute 05 left in the game. Summers has it near wing. He's going to dribble. He's going to post, pivot, long pass. It's going to be saved by Evans, but that's going to be an over and back eventually as Klinger grabs that one. Great effort by Evans to save that, but uh, could not save it Max on Summers. the Comets side of the court. Yeah. Max Summers and Carson Harness checking in for the Comets. Uh, 
Officials calling a full timeout. The officials want to hear the pet band? Is that, that what's going on right now? I, I guess. Well, if it's worth calling an official timeout, maybe it's worth staying for. I, I, I am not sure I've ever seen an official call a timeout just to have the cheerleaders come on the floor and watch the pet band play. <laughs> or listen to the pet band. You, you don't really, I guess we watch, but uh, no, that's, that's interesting. Got some of the girls' basketball team down there helping the cheerleaders out. It's just been something of an unusual night the whole way through, Pete. Yeah, I'm definitely not used to it, that's for sure. It looks like maybe it was the uh, girls' basketball players sweet-talking the official that made that happen, Pete. Well, actually, when he first called the official's timeout, uh, and he, he looked over there at the student section, I was like, somebody said something to get teed up. But no, uh, Annis has it. He'll get the, he'll work the offense. Now Xander Brown with it. 40 seconds to go tonight. Denton gives it back to Annis. These JV comments in the game right now still playing great hard defense. Brown three, well right of the rim. To be rebounded by Evans. He's gonna pull it out, give it to Summers. Summers. Harness. I'm gonna guess Coach is probably gonna want him to pull the ball out. And it's working hard still on defense. Not giving up. It's gonna be eight seconds to go. Summers has it. He's going to grab it. He's going to just hold it as time expires. And your final here tonight, casting 60, North White 37. We're going to step away, thank our sponsors, and we're going to get some game stats together for you guys. We will have the post-game wrap-up here shortly. You're watching Casting Comments Basketball here on RTC TV 4.